We are material scientists. We are mathematicians, we are chemists, we are doctors and surgeons, and we are stem cell biologists. We are postdocs and PhD students, and we are the Cambridge Centre for Medical Materials. With our multidisciplinary background and a wide range of equipment on hand, we engineer biomedical devices and study biological tissues to try and understand the fascinating ways in which our bodies work and help it along when it doesn't quite work the way it should. We look at the structure of natural materials like lumbar spine and sea urchins and study synthetic polymers used in applications like resorbable sutures. Primarily, however, we use collagen, a protein found in nearly all of our tissues, from the bone in the cartilage to the heart and the cornea. This is then used to make our pride and glory collagen-based tissue engineering scaffolds. Making a scaffold is like baking, you just need to follow a recipe. First, we have to measure out the ingredients. We weigh out some collagen, add it to some acetic acid, or vinegar if you prefer to call it that, and let it swell overnight. Once it's all swollen, we take it out to blend it into a slurry. We pour it into the blender, then on for two minutes, off for a minute, and on for two minutes again. From silicone muffin liners to stainless steel vessels, we pour our slurry into a mould of our choice in preparation for the final step. Freeze drying! We pop the moulds into the machine and let the freeze dryer work its magic. So, how does freeze drying work? Here we have a temperature pressure phase diagram for water. First we freeze the ice, allowing the collagen fibres to be pushed away from the growing crystals. Then we drop the pressure and raise the temperature to sublime off the ice, allowing a porous, interconnected structure to remain that cells can move through. Making these structures, however, requires us to understand how ice grows and make models for the moulds and the equipment that can replicate the structures that we see in our tissues. We then characterise our scaffold surface structure and roughness using techniques like atomic force microscopy and we use microcomputer tomography to look at the internal structure of our scaffold along with how open and connected the pathways in it will be for our cells. We mechanically test our samples to then tune its properties to the native tissue and we study the rate of degradation to try and match it to the tissue's rate of regeneration. We are also home to the Bonfield Cell Culture Lab, where we undertake the biological characterization of our scaffolds, including how cells migrate through, attach to, and cluster on the scaffolds. We bring together a range of techniques to understand, optimize, and modify the way we create our collagen-based tissue engineering scaffolds, with the aim that one day we will be able to match the structure, mechanical properties, and biological function of virtually any tissue in our body. Music